Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. In this video, we're going to talk about the tech guilds at the market. If you didn't catch it, I recently made a video comparing all of the eco techs and in what situations each one could be worth picking up. One of the techs I touched on was of course guilds, and it was pointed out a few times that the way I was looking at it undersells the tech in some situations, and you may need to use the market considerably less than I suggested to justify the tech, so we'll be following up with that idea. My original approach was to say that with bottomed out market prices, guilds increases the amount of gold you get by selling 100 food or wood by 3, while the tech itself costs 200 gold plus some food off the top that is spent instead of sold, which all makes the tech sound pretty bad, and that you need to sell up to 8,000 resources to break even. But what if you have a bit of extra foresight and get guilds before the prices have tanked? It turns out that does change things significantly. Let's assume no one has used the market all game, in which case the selling price of food and wood is 70. That number comes from the fact that the fair price for 100 food and wood starts at 100 gold, and the prices you see are 30% higher and lower. Each time you sell, the fair price moves down by 3 until it hits a floor of 20. A 30% discount on 20 brings you down to the 14 gold that we're all familiar with. Without guilds, in the process of dropping the price down, you need to sell 2,700 food, which generates a little over 1,000 gold. Once you've hit the bottom though, the next 2,700 food you sell for the lowest price possible generates less than 400 gold in contrast, so you can see there's a big advantage in being first to sell at the market. Now let's reset and think about what happens if you get guilds before selling. Instead of a 30% commission fee, for lack of a better term, guilds cuts the fee in half to just 15%. Now, selling 2,700 food to drop the price to rock bottom, you end up generating 1,400 gold. That's 245 more than you got without the tech, which right away has already covered its gold cost. In fact, starting with 3,000 food and 200 gold, with untouched market prices, you end up with an identical amount of gold, whether you go with guilds or not, meaning any more food than that and you're better off picking up guilds first. Of course, wood and food prices are independent, so you can theoretically get some additional value out of selling wood before other players as well. This is making some assumptions that you're floating a ton of extra resources, and we'll say this is the optimistic side of the story. In fact, we could go one step further and suppose the market price for food is inflated from players buying enough to push the quote fair price up to 150. At that point, the payoff for guilds happens if you start with as little as 2400 food and 200 gold, meaning whether you get guilds or not, you end up in a similar spot. Any selling in addition to that is guilds essentially giving you free resources. Keep in mind all this selling drastically reduces the price, so the value moving forward isn't quite as impressive, but at least the concern of the tech not paying for itself is mitigated if you have a high price to start with. I'd argue this makes the decision to pick up guilds a lot more strategic and context dependent. As I argued in the previous video, if the bulk of selling has already occurred, then guilds would need a massive amount of resources to pay off. On the other hand, if you're first to the market, which remember is shared by all players, then guilds can pay off with more like 3,000 food or wood to sell. What I find to be the most interesting wrinkle though is guilds research time. Guilds has a 50 second delay between clicking it and when you get the effect, so it's not a simple matter of clicking guilds and immediately selling your resources at the market. By trying to maximize the payoff and grabbing guilds at high prices, part of you is hoping another player doesn't scoop in and capture those prices beforehand, which adds an element of risk if you're about to do some bulk selling. So to conclude, I agree that yes, by considering only rock bottom market prices, I was given the most pessimistic outlook on guilds. Generally, the higher the market prices, the more helpful the tech becomes, and at the default prices, it's closer to 3,000 resources sold to come out ahead. Another nice part about selling early is you're simultaneously giving your opponent worse prices going forward, so it has a double effect, and guilds is going to make that payout on your end just that much better. Those are my revised thoughts on guilds though, and hopefully it gives a more satisfying answer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.